Does your dog like to bolt outdoors, jump up on people, or generally not be very attentive to you while out in public? I wanna show you one behavior that can help you solve all those problems and more. Welcome to the Doggy Dojo. My name's Trevor Smith, and today we are going to cover the sit behavior. The sit behavior is such a foundational part of your dog's training. It can apply to all different aspects of life for your dog. For instance, if your dog likes to jump on people for greeting, and you teach them how to sit for greeting, what will start to happen is your dog's jumping behavior and sitting behavior are what we like to call incompatible behaviors, where they will not be able to sit and jump at the same time. And when you start to reward the sit behavior for greeting, your behavior for jumping on people is going to start to decrease. I like to start this game off by showing my dog what sit means without using any verbal cues. If you start to chant to your dog over and over and over again, the word sit without first teaching your dog what sit means, what will happen is your dog will start to either ignore the word or be very confused what sit actually means. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the treat and we're gonna draw a line from their nose in between their ears. And what's gonna happen is when their rear end hits the ground, we're gonna mark it with the word yes and then reward. We're gonna to wanna to do this behavior about five or six different times or when your dog starts to put their rear end on the ground as soon as your hand starts to go above their head. Now that your dog has an understanding of what sit means with your hand, you're gonna to wanna to start to introduce a verbal cue. When we do this part of the game, we're gonna to wanna to make sure to separate our verbal cue and our visual cue from each other. That way, down the road, we can use either just the verbal cue or just the visual cue. To do that, we're gonna say our verbal cue first, and then we're going to show our visual cue with our hand. Sit. Yes. When using rewards during training, particularly with treats, it is important to fade the food out of your hand. In order to achieve that, I like to use the reward with opposite hand game. What you're going to do is you're gonna take food in both hands. Then you're going to ask your dog to sit with one hand and you're gonna reward with the opposite hand. Go ahead, sit. Yes! Once your dog understands that the reward doesn't always come from the signal hand, then you can start taking the treats all together out of your hand. So now I have no food in this hand. I'm gonna put this treat behind my back and ask my dog to sit. Yes! All right. It is so important to get the food out of your hands so your dog doesn't do what I like to call a sniff check, where they come up to you and smell to see the treats on you. And if you don't have any treats, then they don't want to play with you. Thanks for watching here on the Doggy Dojo. If you learned something to help you discover the path to life with your dog, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And as always, have some fun with your dog. Get it! Ah, good boy! Yeah, 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 get it. That's such a good dog. You're so good. Yay, Clyde! You're such a good boy. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. <laughs> yeah.